Good day, everyone. My name is Abiyo Dumbelo, and I am a poultry scientist with DuPont Nutrition and Biosciences. It is a pleasure to have the opportunity of presenting the abstract number 144 at this PSA 2020 meeting. I will be presenting to you on the comparative efficacy and dose effect of a novel concessious bacteria cystitis variant and a commercial cystitis on retention of phosphorus and calcium in egg laying ends fed in organic pea free diet. Calcium is essential mineral required in laying hen. Primarily, it is required as calcium phosphate for bone metabolism and as calcium carbonate for eggshell formation. To meet its physiological need, dietary calcium requirement for laying hen ranges from 3.6 to 4.2% of overall diet. In laying hen's diet, Phytate phosphorus averages from 0.24 to 0.33%. Dietary calcium is required at eye level, and phytase is only commonly used at about 300 FTU. As a result, the likelihood of calcium phytate complex buildup in the digestive tract of ling N is significantly high, possibly contributing in the relatively higher pH from the upper GIT to the small intestine in laying hens. Results of previous studies showed that even with phytase utilization, phytate is only poorly digested with significant excretion of the minerals. Hence, improving efficiency of calcium and phosphorus calls for lowering dietary calcium without detrimentally affecting its physiological need in birds. This necessitates the importance of the efficient use of an effective phytase. In light of this, two research questions were posed, and they were, one, can a novel concessious bacteria cystitis variant allow for further reduction in dietary calcium with better phytate phosphorus utilization relative to a commercial cystitis? Two, can increase in phytase dose benefit calcium and phosphorus utilization? With full understanding of the limitation of commercial phytases, a novel concessious bacteria cystitis variant has been developed for better. These phytases, also expressed in trichoderma raisi, retain the bioefficacy sequence element of Butiacella species and screened for broad pH spectrum, higher intrinsic thermostability, superior degradation efficacy of phytate and its binary and ternary complexes, as well as faster and higher hydrolysis efficacy, particularly in the acidic part of birds' digestive tract. An in vitro study conducted to evaluate the efficacy of the novel concessious bacteriasis phytase variant and a butyacella phytase to degrade calcium phytate precipitate at pH 2.5, which was later increased to pH 6.5 after 120 minutes to allow for optimal precipitation. The results showed that the novel concessious bacteriasis phytase variant further decreased calcium phytate precipitate after 60 and 120 minutes relative to the butyacella phytase. For the sake of brevity, I will be referencing the novel concessious bacteria cystitis variant as Phi-G and the butyacella phytase as Phi-B in the rest of the presentation. Hence, the objective of the current study was to evaluate the efficacy of Phi-G relative to Phi-B at 300 and 600 FTU doses on calcium and phosphorus retention of laying N, fed diet reduced in calcium and with total removal of in in inorganic P sources. N were sourced at point of lay and fed common nutrient adequate diet through 24 weeks of age for adaptation. Experimental diet 
were fed for only four weeks from 24 to 28 weeks of age. And excretor samples were collected for analysis in the last four days of the study. A total of 216 Lawman LSL light end were placed in battery cages and with three ends per cage and 12 cages replicate to each of six dietary treatments. Experimental diet and excretor samples collected in the last four days for analysis for calcium, phosphorus, and titanium dioxide analysis, which were subsequently used for determination of calcium and phosphorus retention. Six experimental diets were utilized in this study, and they were, one, a positive control diet, which was a nutrient adequate layers diet. Two, a negative control diet, which had the positive control without inorganic P or its equivalent, and reduced in calcium by 0.33% unit. Diet three and four were the negative control diet supplemented with 5B at 300 and 600 FTU per kg respectively. Diet five and diet six were the negative control diet supplemented with 5G at 300 and 600 FTU per kg. For the formulation of the positive and negative control treatment, diet based on corn, soybean, and 10% of rice bran were used along with the non-plant-based ingredient to meet desired levels of calcium and available phosphorus in each diet. No monocalcium phosphate was used in the negative control diet, resulting in 0.11% of available phosphorus in the diet. Phytase recovery activity were analyzed and seen to be in range from 94 to 95% of target activity in the 300 FTU diet. However, while the recovery activity in the 5B600 diet was 103% of the target activity, the recovery activity for the 5G600 diet was unexpectedly low at only 83% of the target activity. Randomized complete block design was used in the setting of the trial and cage considered as experimental unit for the analysis of retention of calcium and phosphorus. One way ANOVA was used for all analysis of data. P value was considered significant when less than or equal to 0.05 and means were separated using Tuki HSD test. And now results. On each of the result slides, effects of diet on the mayor retention parameters were presented on the horizontal bar and the other starting with control diet in the light and deep ash color bars. Then 5B at 300 and 600 FTU doses in the light and deep blue bars, respectively, and 5G at 300 and 600 FTU doses in the light and deep red bars, respectively. For the effect of diet on phosphorus retention, feeding the severely deficient phosphorus and calcium diet, decreased phosphorus retention by 3.7%. Why both phytases at both doses improved phosphorus retention relative to both controls? The 600 FTU dose increased phosphorus retention relative to the 300 FTU dose, regardless of phytase. The effect of diet on calcium retention similarly showed that the severe mineral deficiency decreased the parameter by 5.1%. Quite both phytases at, at both doses completely restored calcium retention relative to the nutrient adequate diet. 5G increased calcium retention by 3% at 300 FTU dose and over 1.9% at the 600 FTU dose relative to 5B. Dose effect of 
calcium retention followed the same pattern as phosphorus retention. The 600 FTU dose further increased calcium retention compared to the 300 FTU dose across both phytases. Both phytases at 600 FTU dose improved retainable calcium relative to the 300 FTU dose and the positive control diet. More importantly though, relative to Phi B, Phi G further increased calcium utilization at both doses and showed higher potential to allow for further reduction in the commercial dietary calcium level, as well as to reduce calcium phytate complex buildup and its anti-nutritional effect on phosphorus and calcium availability. In conclusion, the results of this study showed that the 600 FTU dose improved utilization of calcium and phosphorus than the 300 FTU dose did, hence establishing the increase in phytase efficiency with increase in dose. In addition, the finding of the study also demonstrated that relative to the commercial cisphytase, the butyl cellophytase, the novel consensus bacteria cisphytase virion further increased calcium utilization, hence indicating its potential to allow for further reduction in dietary calcium level, which would benefit calcium and phosphorus efficiency in laying hen. With that, I would like to say thank you. In case you have any question, please feel free to reach out to us. We hope to hear from you. Thank you so much.